Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have set up our layout for the view page and here I have created one of the pages as a main blade and also I created one of the folder as a product and there is our create, edit, index, layout and the show page. So now first of all, I want to design our index page. First of all, here I want to designing it and then I will read all the data from here and display that data in particular that area. Okay. So now first of all, I want to designing it. So that is our index plate. And also I define that one of the section because in our layout, I have already defined that bootstrap and also that is a title. So right now we don't need to add our bootstrap for a specific this page because I just put that things as a yield because so this will be loaded in particular that area. That means in our index here, I define all the section. So whatever those things I just put in our this section ID area, it will be automatically loaded on here. Okay, so I will show you step by step. It will be very much clear to you. Like first of all, here I want to designing it because um, I have already added our bootstrap, so we can use our bootstrap all that class. So now here I define all the dev, and then I just simply define all the dev class, and I just name it as a row. Okay, because I have already defined our layout in order the layout. I have already defined that container. So right now we don't need to add that container. And then after that, that is our part. That means this part will be loaded. So I just simply define as a row. And here I want to do, I want to define another class. That means here I define another div. Okay, I just simply define another div. And for this div, I just define the class. Here I want to define one of the row class. So I just define as a call, as a LG. So if you know a little bit the bootstrap, then you will know about it. So I just define as a margin. Okay, margin tab. So I just simply defining it. And here also I want to define some of the um, pull left on the pull live. Okay, so pull left and the pull right. I want to define some of the things. So it's pretty much common things. I just define another div. I into the div area. I just put another class and I just put that class as a pull left. Okay, I just define as a pull left. And here I define one of the H2 tag. So here I simply define as H2 as a um, Laravel product. Okay, I just define as a Laravel product list. So it should be all list space. So here it should be display some of the message. And here after the div, so that is actually the div. And after the div, I want to take another one. So I just simply define another div. And for this div, I define the class. It should be I just define one of the button so I just simply define as a pool right okay I just define as a pool right so it should be in our right position and here I define one of the a herif and here I define the another one of the class and now I define the class as a btn btn success I want to define some of the button and this button will be as a create Okay, create new product so from here I want to create some of the product okay so now if you want to load that page like here that is our layout because in our home I will define one of the add new product that means the add your product so I want to do if you click as a add your product then it should be redacted to our layout page that means this our layout will be loaded so this type of one of the things I want to do for doing this better um, in our main. So here I want to define one of the route. So if you want to declare the route, then you have to defining it with the double second bracket. And I just call one of the route. Okay, I just define one of the route. And here I define one of the route name as a, a product. Okay, product dot index. So this type of one of the route name I just defined. So now we have to do, we have to create this route, right? So if you want to create this route, then you have to go to your route area and do the route area that is our web route. So they have by default one of the home routes. So now I want to do, I want to create another route. So as I told you before, if you want to get some of the data, then you have to define that get method. So I just define as a route. And now I want to define as a gate one of the method. And into the gate method area, uh, first of all, I define our route name. So I just define the route name as a products. Okay, I just name it as a products name. And also you have to define your controller. So I have already created one of the controller, right? So now friend, step by step, everything will be very much clear to you. 
like if you go to our controller area into the controller i have created one of the um, plain controller as a product controller so now i just simply define our controller name so i just simply copy it in our web route so that will be our url and after that here i define our controller name so into the controller i want to create one of the method so if you want to define that method then you have to define as add the rate and now i want to create one of the method as index okay i just define out the method as index method and also here i define one of the name route right you can see that is actually one of the name route so we have to define that name that means this route name so now i just simply define that route name so i just simply define the name that means this route name i just simply define as a product index okay so that's all you have to do so now we have to do we have to define when you actually added this name route what exactly it should be redacted or what action it should be take so you can define that things in our this method area that means this method we have to create in our product controller so now go to our product controller that means this product controller here i define that method so i just simply define as a public and then function and then our method name so here i define that method so i just simply define that method as index method and now here i want to do i want to load this page right that means the index page so this page is lo located in our product folder that means in our view that is a product folder into the product folder that is our index plate right so now i just simply return one of the page like here in our controller area i just simply define that return one of the view page so in our view folder i have created one of the folder as a product right into the product folder i want to load our index page so i just simply define as index okay i just simply defining it so friend that's all you have to do when you output that action then it should be redacted to our this page that means the product index page so now let's check this out if you click on the save all and now if you refresh that page and now here i put one of the name if you click on here yes you can see now it's perfectly redacted to our index page so now i want to do i want to explain it like if you go back so that is our home that means the main so in our main blade here you can see i define on the route so i define on the route as a product index name so this route name as a product index so for the reasons in our route area i have defined that url so that will be our url like if you click on here you can see they have some other url so that is the url i just define in our route area as a products right and also in our product controller i have created one of the controller as a product controller into the product controller i define that name as index method and also for this route so this route i just put that name as a product index right so for the reasons when you click as a add to product then automatically this route will be added so into this route i just put some of the action in our index method so in our product controller i have created that method as an index method if you go to that our product controller so then system will be redacted to first of all this method area into this method i just simply return one of the view page and here i just define that view page in our products folder that means in our products folder and that is our index page so this page will be loaded for the reasons here you can see now our this page that means our index page is now loaded so for the index page i just define as a pool left and there is our pool right for our action now we can work on here like better i just put on the bracket okay i just define some of the bracket so i just simply define some of the bracket click on the save all and here i just refresh it yeah you can see there is a laravel product list so that is a laravel product list i just define as a pool left and also into the pool right i just define one of the button as a create product now you can see that it's perfectly visible and here one things here you can see they have some of the title so where exactly these titles comes from because in our index page i didn't define any title so here i define the title you can see there is i just define the extended our products layout right so into the products layout if you go to the products folder and to the layout page here you can see i define the title so this title is now visible in our particular data area 
so friend i think it's very much clear to you right now so here i define that el position so that is our el position so whatever the page i have created and i when i extended that part i just define that section then this contain section that means particular that part will be only loaded in our layout in our that area so friend i think it's very much clear to you how that laravel file structure actually work for the view page so now i want to do i want to complete our index poise design so now here that is our call left that is our right and that is our call that means this one so after that that is our row so into this row position here i want to define another table so i just simply define another table and now for this table i want to define one of the bootstrap class so i just simply define one of the bootstrap class as a table okay table and the table and then the border okay i just simply define as a table table border and into the table border first of all i define as a tr that means the table row so i just simply define the table row and also i define some of the table head that means the th so into the th i want to define some of the field name as a product okay product name i want to visible it because in our database i have defined some of the field as a product name the code the details and the logo right so i just simply define all that field name so i just simply copy it I just simply paste it there's a product name i also want to define the product code and also there is a details option so i just simply define the details okay i just simply define the details that is the product name code details and the logo so i just simply define that logo that means the product logo okay i just simply define the product logo and then for the edit and the delete i just define the action so I just simply define that action. So now I want to do, I want to take another tier. Because here I define another tier, that means a table row. And here I define the TD, that means a table data. Okay, so I just simply define the T. And into the TD, I want to display our product name. Okay, so right now I am just putting some of the static data. Literally, I will make the things dynamic actually. Okay, so that is our product our code will be visible our details will be visible so all the data will be comes from our database and display that things on here so that will be some of the images so our images will be visible on here and for the action and for the action i want to define some of the button like i just seem define one of the a herif and for the a herif i just define some of the class Okay, I just simply define as a class as a btn btn info. I just simply define the btn btn info for the show. And also I want to take another one. I also want to take another one for the edit. And also another one for the delect. And then for the delect, I just put the things as a danger. This will be as a danger class and for the edit i just make the things as a primary okay i just name it as a primary perfect so now let's check this out if you click on the save all and now if you refresh that page like here i just refresh it yes now you can see i just defined on the bootstrap class so here you can say define the table table as a border and for the reasons they have some of the border for the table and also i define that product name so our product name that means database from our database so whatever the things i will put in particular that area it should be loaded in our particular that position and there is a product code will be visible details will be visible product logo will be visible and also i define some of the action for the show edit and the delete perfect so friend we have successfully designed it it is pretty much simple one of the design but my main vision is to discuss about that functionality how can insert all the data with the images in your database table how can read it how can update it how can show all the data see step by step i will show you that things with the live example so we successfully designed our index page that means the product list page so now in our next video i want to do i want to read all that our data from our database table and display that table, all the data in particular that area 
So how you can do that work in our next video, I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.